Hey everybody, welcome again to Cruise Life TV. My name is Greg. And I'm Michelle. And we're here now to talk about the differences between the Dream Class and the Vista Class. We're just on board the Carnival Horizon and there are slight differences. So. Yeah, so one of the differences that we found was the, the buffet on the Lido deck. Um, oh, the IMAX theater. They uh, included an IMAX theater, which was a lot of fun. We watched the new James Bond movie coming yeah, out. Yeah, they show that. the new releases. They show they have movies in 3D, which mm. was a lot of fun. So um, there was more films that we would have liked to have checked out. But again, we're at the open seas and, you know, there's... Do we want to stay inside and watch a movie or do we want to be outside running around the ropes course? So. Definitely really like the elevator situation yeah. on the horizon and in that class of ship. Yeah, the elevators, we don't know why, but when they went from the Vista class to the XL, the Carnival Mardi Gras, we thought they were going to keep the same kind of elevator system, but uh, they did not. And that was a little disappointing because it really did work out well on the horizon, on the well. Vista class. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's on the other ships, but it's definitely on the horizon. So, you know, I don't want to get too excited about an elevator, but the elevator is pretty cool. <laughs> and you'll see coming up on how the elevator system works. There was a few other differences as far as where um, some of the uh, dining experiences are located throughout mm -hmm. the ship so they moved a few things around and the combination of the limelight and the punch liner yeah multi-purpose room so mm -hmm. um here's the video enjoy like and subscribe and uh, catch us on the next one okay hi everyone this is a little fyi segment for those of you that are first time sailors on the horizon things have changed a little bit from the other carnival ships so we just wanted to give you a little update on those changes Okay, the first change we want to go over is the buffet on the Lido deck. The marketplace is what they call it. And so instead of having one long buffet, it's changed a bit to little kiosk areas. So we are on a port day today, so some of the buffet is closed. And this is the second section of the buffet. Some of you will have remembered that the deli section was on the side of the ship, but is now in the aft portion or the back portion of the ship. And here it is. It is open today for the port of call. Another change is the addition of the IMAX theater, which is located on 6 mid. And if you feel like you want to just get away from the uh, ship feel and jump into a movie, it is awesome. We just saw the new James Bond movie, No Time to Die, which just came out in the theaters. And it was an amazing experience. The way to purchase tickets is to come up to the kiosk here on 6 Mid. And you can tap and then purchase. This is a new innovation that the older ships don't have. It is the, the new elevator. You wake it up and then you push whatever deck you want. We're going to four and it tells you what car to go to. Hi, and here we are at the Meridian restaurant which is on deck three, it's also up on deck four. It's the two-story dining room in the aft part of the ship where usually you would have your fixed dining reservations. However, they have now flip-flopped them. And this is now the anytime dining. If you like sitting in this main dining room, you can request a fixed time dining in this restaurant. Just see the maitre d' on embarkation day. Here we are at the Piano Bar 88, which is an extension of Fahrenheit 555, the steakhouse. So the Limelight Lounge now serves as a multi-purpose room where they have the punchliner comedy lineup and then also the disco. So you can see that they have chairs there on the dance floor, which are then removed after the punchliner show is over and then it becomes the disco.